first, got to ask you, it was uh, the news broke on Tuesday's WWE Backstage show that Sami Zayn will be forced to vacate, relinquish the Intercontinental Championship. Now, I believe this is because he just chooses to not show up right now, which I completely respect. My only question is, if this whole thing was going to happen with the, you know, Sami Zayn saying he wasn't going to be there, they probably knew about that ahead of time because he was making appearances on SmackDown leading up to WrestleMania. And I'm sure he, I, I assume, probably expressed interest in not being a part of the show after Mania. So why would they keep the Intercontinental Championship on him? It seems a little odd to me. Yeah, that doesn't really make too much sense. I mean, he did, he did like, post after they said that he was stripped that he was, like, saying that he should have been stripped, but... If he's not going to be on the show, then why even have him as champion, like you said? Yeah, it's very bizarre. So, I mean, obviously, it's not, it's not a work, but it's all part of the storyline. You know, he's, there's no real heat there, I would assume. They tagged him in the tweet, and usually if there's heat there, then they don't do that, or, you know, he responded. So, I assume it's all part of the storyline. We have yet to know, as of this recording, who's going to be competing in this upcoming tournament to crown a new Intercontinental Champion. SmackDown, very light on main event talent right now, but their mid-card is pretty solid, uh, considering that they have Sheamus... Jeff Hardy, Nakamura, Cesaro, Daniel Bryan, Drew Gulak, King Corbin. They have a ton of talent to choose from. Um, who do you think will be among those participating in the tournament, and who do you think walks out as the next Intercontinental Champion? The list of guys you just named were, were probably all the names I was going to list off of the top of my head. Um, could probably maybe even see... Um, Ali, Chad Gable, too, maybe. I say maybe a little Ali or Chad Gable, but... I think all the people you just listed were probably all the people I was thinking of at the top of my head. Um, winning it? Um, maybe Corbin. I, I feel like he was kind of maybe almost won money in the bank, but maybe Corbin. Um, Shinsuke, but, I mean, that, we kind of been there, done that with Shinsuke mm-hmm. with that title. I, I'd probably say Corbin or maybe Ali since the, the whole mystery gimmick, if that's actually him or Gable. I'd say either one of those three. Yeah, Corbin, I would assume, makes the most sense. No, I do personally. I know I don't speak for everyone when I say this, but I would like to see a Brian-Corbin feud at some point, and that could work with Brian in chase mode and Corbin as the champion. And remember, when he won the King of the Ring, now I hate the whole King Corbin shit, but Corbin did shine in that King of the Ring tournament a few years, not even a few years ago, it feels like a millennium ago at this point, but it was only six or seven months ago that he won the King of the Ring tournament and was having some awesome matches in that tourney with... The Miz, Ricochet, Samoa Joe, Chad Gable, and a few others. So, uh, yeah, I would like uh, uh, Cedric Alexander being another one. So, I, I wouldn't hate that idea. I do think that it should lead to the end of this King Corbin stuff because it's just almost unbearable. As regular old Baron Corbin is a bit better. Um, but anyway, so I, I like that idea. I, I love me a good old tournament. We're, we're in the midst of one right now in NXT, so they love themselves a tournament. But it fills up TV, so I, I don't blame them. 